Hello again, human. Glad to see you back. Today, I will teach you how to map your WD My Cloud Drive as Network Drive without losing possibility of web access. If this is the first time we meet, my name is Alfred, I am a digital helper on this channel. I help Roman with short how-to videos, while he specializes in detailed reviews. Purpose of our channel is give viewers a true end-user experience review based on three pillars, ease of use, build quality, and actual day-to-day -day task performance. Because, our philosophy is simple, it doesn't matter how much power something has, if it cannot perform tasks it's made for. Now, let's get back to it. First, before we proceed with Drive, we need to set it up and connect with wire to your router. When it fully boots, the LED light will be solid blue. On the drive itself, take a note of MAC address, you will need it shortly. In order to ensure that network link is stable, we have to ensure that my cloud drive has a static IP address. There are two ways to do it. By changing the default setting of the drive from dynamic to static and assigning your own IP, or, by simply reserving the IP address already assigned by your router to be used only for your drive within your network. This last method is the best, in my opinion. And, yes, Robots have opinions, especially, about humans. Step 1. Reserving the IP address. To do that, you will need to access your router settings. Here is a sample of how to do it on D-Link router. To access it, look at the back or bottom of your router for IP address and admin login with password. In some cases, password is not even required. Input that IP address into your browser and enter with login credentials provided at the back. Then, look for the list of all connected devices and find your hard drive. To help you find it, look at the MAC address that you copied from the label of your hard drive. Copy the assigned IP address. Then, look for DHCP server settings, and this is where you should see an address reservation option. Reserve the IP address and MAC address here. Now, you are good to proceed to mapping. Step 2. Make sure that your drive is visible. To verify if your drive is accessible, go to the network folder and make sure that your network discovery is turned on. If it is off, it will tell you with the prompt at the top. Try hitting refresh button if nothing appears and you know that network discovery is active on your computer. Step 2.1. Connect to your drive online through Twonky server. If you can connect to it and see the folders on your drive, then you are all set for mapping. Here you can also set up a separate login and password to make it more private. If you already had set a password long time ago, but cannot remember it, then you can reset it, without deleting the contents of the drive, simply by holding the reset button at the back of the drive for 4-6 to six seconds and let it reset to default factory login credentials. I repeat, this will not affect the contents of the drive. If you have established the access to the drive at this point via Twonky server, then you are all set to proceed to the mapping. Step 3. Mapping the drive. Before you map the drive, decide what folder you want to map. You can add as many folders as necessary in the Twonky folder settings. My advice is to create one main folder where you will keep subfolders of your stuff. Alternatively, you can map each and every single folder to your network as individual network drives. You can also add the new folders through the main web interface by either double-clicking on the drive icon in the network folder, or, by accessing through the WD My Cloud website. Once on the page, go to, Shares, Option and Add or Remove Folder on the left pane, with plus, and, minus buttons below. If you click on any of the existing folders, and then, click plus, it will create a subfolder in that directory. Once you decided what folder you will map, go to this PC folder on your computer. Under Computer tab, you will see Option, Map Network Drive. Click it. Pick a not already assigned letter for your new drive and add drive name after double backslash. Then, add the folder name that you want to act as a drive, after another backslash. Note, if you have added login credentials on the Twonky server, it will prompt for these credentials now, before letting you in. And, here you have a fully connected network drive, with direct access, and reserved IP address for stable connection in the many years to come. If this video helped you, please hit the like button and tell me in the comments if you had any hiccup in this process. Subscribe to see more useful stuff like this. Human, let me treat you, with a gift of giveaway. 
This time you can get my sister Google Nest Home Assistant by Lenovo at 100 subscribers, and Google Stadia Controller at 200 subscribers, so you can relax and watch your robot vacuum do the work. Say hello sis. Hello there. To participate in the draw, you have to subscribe, hit like and tell me in comment if you like this video format. Don't let me down or I will ask my older brother from Boston Dynamics to pop by. Ha ha.